Hi guys, welcome back for another video. I'm Jess and I'm one of the creative designers here at Sizzix. Today I wanna to share with you um, a rather exciting make because it's a floral theme make, which is one of my favorites. And I'm gonna be using the brand new Icelandic Poppy from chapter one. This is a gorgeous dye. It is um, made by one of our fantastic designers, Olivia Rose. And I'm gonna be using some of our sculpting foam as well. And this is kind of all in aid for our, our brand new floral hub that has just gone live on the Sizzix website on the .co.uk website and the .com website. So that's a fantastic place that if you love florals, where everything will be sort of put in one place, whether it's inspiration, products, anything like that, and you can head on over there and you can check out everything in one place, okay? So I'm going to, again, move the camera slightly down and then we'll get started on the make. So I'm just going to ask my assistant to move it down for me. <laughs> and there we go, okay? So, like I said, it is with the Icelandic poppy, and you can probably tell that um, it's a really nice big thinlets die, which is quite unusual, unusual for thinlets, and you get these three pieces in there. So the main part is obviously this flower petal shape, and it does have these gorgeous embossed lines on each of the petals as well, which is really, really lovely. And what I'm going to use with that today is the sculpting foam like I mentioned so this is the springtime sculpting foam that I've got here and um, they do come in several different shades um, and mixtures of colours um, but this one I wanted to use today because I want to use this top colour which is this gorgeous sorbet colour and I'll just open it up to show you actually um, inside so that's how it comes when it's sort of inside hopefully you can see that and then you can roll it back up and store it in there, but it's a gorgeous material. It's a really nice thickness, which means that it'll hold its shape, but you can also manipulate the material to make it look quite realistic, particularly with florals. So this is a really fantastic material if you are working with florals, particularly those larger ones that you want to make look quite realistic. Okay, so if I was to make up this flower just as it is i want to actually show you how it would look when it's cut out so that's kind of how it would look when it's cut out and on the sculpting foam you can kind of just see the embossed lines and then if i'm ever working with sculpting foam i tend to use our sizzix oil pastels now these are fantastic because you get 12 of these oil pastels and they work perfectly with the colours inside of the sculpting foam as well as all of our cardstock so again that colour story that you may have heard me talk about before it all works perfectly together and it just helps to create extra dimension to those florals so I've just got a couple that have already put some oil pastel on and these ones have actually put the oil pastel in the areas where those embossed lines were so that's how it would cut if I was just to do it normally and I would layer them up and then I would pop those middle pieces on. Hopefully you can see that and it would look something like that. So this has been obviously all pieced together and it's also been heated up and sculpted slightly. That is um, a fantastic thing to do with this sculpting foam that you can heat it up and it kind of manipulates it allows you sorry to manipulate the material and give it that little bit more of an organic texture so that's how it would look if i were to make it normally i just wanted to show you a different technique and idea that you may not have thought of and a different way to use this dye so i've got my first piece cut out so like i said that is with the that sorbet colored sculpting foam from the springtime set and i've already cut that out um, that thin lip piece out on my machine and I'm going to actually cut this up so rather than keep it as this whole shape I want to do something a little bit different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it into four so I've got individual petals and this will make sense as we go through the video okay so just cut that up. so I've got four individual petals okay and that's when my sculpting sorry my oil pastels are going to come in because now I can add a little bit of depth I'm just going to open those up 
and I'm going to use the darkest pink shade because I want to add some darkness to the corners or the inner parts of the petals okay so rather than this one here where I've put the oil pastel into those embossed lines I'm actually going to do it from the base and work my way upwards so I'm just going to do it slightly towards me and just do a few lines the good thing about working with oil pastels on the sculpting foam is that you don't need to be precise or perfect with how you're doing it you can be quite messy and quite rough because once you add that heat it kind of melts into the sculpting foam almost okay but if you do feel like you want to blend it out a little bit you can just take your finger and just rub over like that if you're concerned about getting your fingers messy or something like that a great tip is to use like a wet wipe or something like that and put it over your finger and use that to blend out the sculpting foam that also obviously protects your fingers but it, because it's slightly damp it does um blend that oil pastel just a little bit smoother so it de it's on it depends on your preference but like i said it, that's not a necess necessity because when you do heat it up it does um melt slightly okay so i've got those petals and then you do want to make several of those because we want quite a lot so you can cut several of those and make a load of petals and then i'm going to heat them so i'm actually going to pop down my glue gun accessories mat before i do anything because i'm going to be using heat i don't want um my surface underneath to melt or anything like that and then i'm going to bring in a petal at a time hold it down slightly and heat it up on the highest heat just for time reference because it'll only take a few seconds that way and you want to heat it until you see the sculpting foam slightly shrivel about right so literally just a couple of seconds and then while it's still hot I want you to take it in your fingers and very gently mold and manipulate that petal okay so I'm making like a slight cup shape and then I'm going to take it, the edges and tease the edges in between my fingers to give it that little bit more organic feel now you do have to be careful when you're doing this because they can tend to rip particularly in the middle like if I just went like that from both sides it would rip in the center so I tend to put one thumb in the center and then work my way out so that I avoid ripping it okay I'm going to do that with one more just to show you and then we can start assembling our flower okay so again on the highest heat just for a couple of seconds and still and until it starts to sort of bend upwards and then again just pulling that and adding that texture almost to the petal okay so i'm going to move this out of the way because there might be a little bit of a reflection from that so i apologize for that and then I can bring in all the petals that I've finished. So I've got a load here that I've already finished. And I have put oil pastel just on one side. But if you're concerned about seeing the other side as well, you can put oil pastel on the back. That's absolutely fine. So I've got all those petals and they're all done, heated, molded, everything like that. They've got their oil pastel on their ground. Okay. And um, before I adhere the petals onto the flower and start making it as a flower i need a center so i'm going to move those to one side and i'm going to bring in a piece of floral wire okay and i'm going to bring in a balsa wood bead now keep your eye out because these things we are bringing out a flower accessories kit in, in the future that will 
come in fantastic handy if you are a big floral maker and these are from that set so yeah they're coming out very very near future so that balsa wood bead i don't want it the color that it's going to be i want it um a different color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these sizzix permanent markers and i'm going to color the wooden ball in so i'm going to do a couple of layers and i'm going to do the this light yellow in this sort of green color and these are great because they have dual ended so it means that if i'm doing something big like this i can do the fat end and i can just take it in my hand and run the pen all over the ball and because it's a permanent marker it's not going to run or get onto anything else once it's dried okay so i'm going to go over it with the yellow don't worry about if you get it on your fingers it does um eventually come off despite it being permanent okay so i've gone over one layer with the yellow and then I'm going to go over the top with the green. And I've just found that this creates a really nice tone of colour um, to the middle section for the kind of flower that I want to make anyway. So I'm going to go over the top. And... It takes a bit of time, but because of that fat end, it's actually quite quick to do this okay there we go so that's all covered so we've got our center piece and i'm going to glue that to the end here so i'm going to bring in my hot glue gun and i'm going to pop a little bit of glue just on one end and stick it there. Now you don't want to pop glue in the hole of the balsa wood ball and stick it on to the wire that way because I want to be able to see a sort of flat surface with no hole at the top so that's why I've done it this way okay so just bear that in mind you don't want the holes visible really so I'm just going to attach that. So there we go. So we've got our ball on the top. So as you can see, there's no hole on the top. And then I'm going to bring in the flower stamens. Now this is one pack. This is the white cream pack, but you can get a pink and purple. You can get a metallic set and um, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to use this one because I want these yellow stamens. And I'm just going to take my little wire off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take clusters of these and fold them in half. OK, so just fold them in half and I'm actually going to pop on some of my thimbles from my glue gun accessories kit that I used the mat from before because I do want to get my fingers on there and press. So I'm going to take the bit that I folded and I'm going to pop a little bit of hot glue towards the base of the wooden ball and then I'm going to press those on to here. I'm actually going to pop one of these on my other finger I think just to be safe. Okay. If you need a little bit more glue that's fine because you're not going to see this once we add the petals. Okay. okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to take a few more and again, fold it in half and add the glue. Well, you could also add the glue to the stamens and do it that way. That's absolutely fine. So I'll do the other side. It's hard to do it upside down. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And basically you want a sort of circle of stamens around this wooden ball. So I'm going to do it a couple more times, I think. Just 
just to show you because it's a fantastic effect once you have kind of gotten a full circle of these because it just looks so so good again just popping that hot glue and it doesn't have to be perfect because again like flowers are in nature they're not perfect um things are going to be different heights and stuff like that so don't panic yourself too much so there we go i would probably if i had a little bit more time i'd probably go in and add a few more pieces of stamens just to make sure it's kind of secure i'm actually my thing is falling off there we go <laughs> i just added more glue to make it secure and i think i ended up melting the glue that was already there so i'm just going to make sure that's secure we're going to add loads more hot glue towards that base anyway as we add the petals so don't worry if it feels a little bit unsecure at the moment it won't do soon okay so i would probably go in and add a little bit more and make those stains a little bit fuller um, but if you are obviously recreating that at home, you can have the time to do that. And now I can start to add in all those lovely petals that we took the time to oil pastel and sculpt. So again, using my hot glue gun, all I'm going to do is pop a little bit of glue on the base of each petal and start to build these up. Okay, so just keep building them up. Normally do one full round layer and then add some more. So I'm just going to go here. Make sure my glue is working. There we go. And I find putting together flowers is really therapeutic. Once you've made all the pieces and you've gone to all the effort of sculpting the flowers and stuff like that, it's just really, really nice to just finally piece it all together and see how quickly it starts to form pretty much. So as you can see, it's already starting to look like a flower. So we've already got that first layer on. And now all I would do is I just basically keep adding petals so just with those little dabs of glue and just filling in the gaps from the back okay and this obviously just by cutting up these petals that of still the same dye we've like everything's still the same we've just cut up the petals and it's just changed so much already just gonna make sure that's nice and secure. I'll go around to the other side and just keep going. Now you could make this flower as full as you wanted and you could just keep going. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a couple more because I don't wanna be here too long and you can see it's really starting to form if you're unsure of where to put your next petal just pick it up and look at it from the from the top and you'll be able to see where you need those extra flowers i think i'm gonna add one more just down here there we go so I think I would probably if I had a little bit more time I'd keep going and keep making that flower a little bit fuller but you can see already how it's starting to come to life basically and then just to finish it off all I would do is I'd bring in some florist tape and it's actually sticky already 
I'm just gonna remove these glue gun strings. <laughs> it's already sticky on one side, so all you have to do is slightly pull it and it, cre it creates that stick almost. I'm just going to rip that bit off just because it's a bit used already, that bit. So all you have to do is just start at the top and it kind of sticks itself as you pull and wrap. So that's all I would do because as the more flowers you add you'll tend to get a little cone shape you'll get even more of a cone shape so you will want to cover that up and that's where the florist tape will come in handy because if you've added quite a lot of petals like i said you'll want to add the florist tape and cover that up so i'm just going to add the florist tape and basically you just keep wrapping and twisting all the way down Okay. As you go down as well, you can start to add some leaves. So obviously there is a le little leaf die cut in that set as well. So what I am going to do is just add a little leaf there. Again, just... And I could add them to the stem or I could add them to the base of the flower as well. And you could just add as many as you want. So there you go. So all, I would basically keep going all the way down with this florist wire um, and adding leaves as and when I wanted to. And then you've got your flower. So I'll just show you what they look like when they're a little bit fuller. And I've got a couple more colours here as well, actually. So here is the sorbet coloured one so as you can see the one that I did is quite sparse in comparison and um, which means I've just added way more petals I added way more stamens in the center just because I had a little bit more time and the bit down the bottom which I was referencing before is that's how it looks towards the base when you start to add more petals and it meant that I could cover it all up and make it look nice and tidy with that um, florist wire down the bottom. So that's the sorbet one and then we've got like one in yellow, we've got a really nice darker pink one and orange one. So these will be fantastic as a full bouquet and you could use them as corsages as buttonholes um, as cake decorations there are so many things you can use them for because that sculpting foam is a little bit more durable than using paper so it just means that it's going to last a little bit longer it's going to be a little bit more resistant to things like water and other substances so it just they're just fantastic and they look so realistic when they're all together there we go I was just about to sneeze, sorry. <laughs> so there we have it guys, I hope you like that. I'm just gonna bring the camera just slightly back up and I'll say my final goodbyes. So there we go. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> sorry about that, it's a bit fiddly. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that today, guys. I hope you loved seeing these gorgeous flowers, whether you are making them like the way I've shown you where you can chop up those petals or you wanna just keep it relatively traditional and keep them in the shape that they can. It just shows how versatile something like a floral dye can be. You don't have to just use it as it's intended. You can be a little bit more creative and yeah, just play around with it. And this one is a gorgeous one, this Icelandic poppy by Olivia Rose, just because it is so stunning and you can create several different kinds of flowers with it, not just the poppy, okay? So again, like I said at the start of the video, anything like this make and the dye and anything floral related basically will be on those floral hubs on both of the Sizzix websites. So if you are into florals like myself and you want to look at loads of inspiration and look at all the products that work together and all the dyes as well that are just all floral themed then make sure to check that out because it's a fantastic resource on our website and it just saves you a lot of time and effort if that's what you're into and that's what you want to create 
then you can just go straight there and it's pretty much all there and done for you and you can just scroll through and pick your favorites and get tons of inspiration um, and get creating basically so thank you for joining me today guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoy recreating these flowers and adding some color to your home that will not die anytime soon <laughs> um but yeah until the next time one guys make sure to stay safe and keep crafting thanks bye